Thanks very much. Yeah, I'm Stephen Hillian. I lead the product team at Alpine Data Labs. Do I really believe that women are better data scientists than men? Um, <clears throat> I think any argument that starts out by saying that one group is better than another group based on uh, genetic factors or gender rarely ends out positively. Um, but what I am confident is, based on my own experience working in data analytics and data science over the last 10 years, and also based on conversations that I've had with many women in the field, that what is clear is that women are leading and succeeding in data science, and that compared to other technology fields, this is something to be celebrated and encouraged. Uh, look at these data scientists here. Uh, you have up there um, Karina Cortez, who leads uh, research uh, for Google uh, here in New York in analytics. And you have Professor Daphne Collar, uh, who's a professor in machine learning at Stanford. Uh, one of my best machine learning engineers described her class at Stanford as a nightmare, uh, and he meant that as a compliment. Uh, you have Annika Jimenez, who leads over 50 data scientists at Pivotal, world-class data scientists, and Julia Emir Farinas, one of the best data scientists that I've worked with. I remember once watching her, she was given a large telco data set uh, by some sales guys at the last minute and told to do something with it. Um, and not only did she build a production quality churn model in a single afternoon, but also produced a presentation that was beautifully visual and intuitive and packed with insights. So why do I think this is worth remarking on or celebrating? Um, well, for me, it starts out personally. When I was a graduate student in math at Berkeley, there was a woman there who was applying for tenure, one of only two um, uh, uh, women professors at the, in that department, and she had a stellar academic background, and she had most recently come out of Somerville College at the uh, University of Oxford in the UK. Now, I don't know if you've heard of Somerville College, but it's one of the most prestigious uh, colleges in the United Kingdom. Uh, it's produced the likes of Indira Gandhi, Prime Minister of India, Margaret Thatcher, uh, numerous researchers, scientists, artists, and politicians, uh, and a Nobel Prize winner. Um, and I overheard one of the senior member of faculty at Berkeley talking about her application and saying, well, you know, she just went to a women's college. And this is somebody who had a direct effect on her tenure. And this to me is just one of innumerable hurdles, an example of one of innumerable hurdles and barriers uh, that women have traditionally faced in technical fields. Uh, and I'm not the only one to realize this. There's a report that MIT did some years ago, a famous report that proved uh, that women in technical fields uh, routinely had lower salaries and even smaller office space compared to their male cohorts, uh, even when comparing uh, equal, uh, equally accomplished uh, academics. Uh, it's well known that people of either gender will routinely favor men over women in hiring, even when their resumes are literally identical. There are also regional differences that I think are interesting. So for example, there are many examples, but one, um, there are small countries in Europe that have literally successfully submitted 10 times more women to the International Math Olympiad uh, compared to the United States. But women in data science and analytics seem to be doing great stuff. Uh, and this is borne out by the data. Um, a recent study showed that while women typically lag by about 5%, uh, in salary compared to men in the same field, um, women in data science actually be, seem to be doing slightly better. Uh, women in analytics and statistics, according to the census and according to other reports, actually outnumber men uh, in this report, almost outnumber men in analytics and statistics, um, far better than in other technical fields. And I looked across universities in the US and at masters of analytics programs such as those at North Carolina State, uh, top programs, Northwestern for example, women make up about 40% of the graduating class. Uh, still not 50%, but markedly better than other fields like math and computer science where it's a doleful 20%. Um, why might this be the case? Well, I think one reason is that data science uh, traditionally draws upon the applied sciences where women historically have had great successes. Um, it's also true that data science is inherently a collaborative, communicative um, uh, discipline that requires listening, and these are traits that, at least in our culture, are traditionally associated with women. This was not an argument that I was terribly comfortable in making, but all of the women that I spoke to actually wanted to emphasize this point. One of them actually said, you know, for me, data science represents an opportunity uh, to extra flex both my analytical logical skills as well as my evangelization and communication skills. What I think is clear is that data science has created a culture 
um, that seems to invite women in. It seems to have created a culture where the leading data scientists are just as likely to be a woman as a man. And I think all the mathematicians and the computer scientists in the room, you need to take note of that. Thank you.